<laughs> All right. Up next uh, is the first old friend on the program, Paul Hindemith's Sonata uh, for bassoon and piano, a uh, piece I first worked on way back in high school. Uh, there are some people who find Hindemith's music kind of uh, dry and unemotional, and I have to say, I've always found that kind of a strange complaint. Um, for me, works like the Sonata are haunted by this darkness that I find deeply intimate and personal and very moving. Uh, by the time Hindemith wrote this piece in 1938, he had left Nazi Germany for Switzerland, uh, and it's not hard to see the spirit of the times underneath the surface of the music, uh, what with the first movement that, that's just nostalgic and aching, uh, and the march in the second movement that sweeps aside the work's one passage of, of pristine, untroubled beauty before spinning wildly out of control. Years later, Hindemith would set Walt Whitman's When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed as a requiem for Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, and even though there aren't any direct quotes in the requiem from the sonata, uh, it's not hard to see this tattered, sobbing pastoral that ends this work as kind of a foreshadowing linkage of nature imagery with death. Uh, in light of recent events, death has obviously been on our minds a lot. Uh, and before we play this next work, I'd like to take a moment of silence for the victims of the Orlando shooting. <laughs> 